So apparently there's a new skincare trend going around called skin flooding. And if you haven't heard of it, don't worry. I'm going to do my skincare routine for tonight and I'm going to show you exactly what it is and tell you if you need it or not. This video does include a sponsorship with Dr. Suracol. This is their vegan active berry first essence. When I tell you what skin flooding is, you're going to realize why this is important to the skincare routine. All right. So skin flooding, what is it? It's basically the act of hydrating your skin, deeply drenching your skin in hydration. And it makes sense. If you think about skin flooding, you can imagine what that would be. But really at the heart of it, it's a concept we've talked about for years. If you have dehydrated skin, you need to use a humectant to hydrate your skin, then lock it in with an emollient, with your occlusive. When I was looking at this trend on TikTok, I saw some variations in the technique. It seemed like either people were just really drenching their skin in toner to the point where it was just dripping off of their skin and then applying their products or their moisturizer. And then the other variation was that people are putting spray toner between each step of their skincare routine. Either way, they're pretty much accomplishing the same thing. They're getting that hydration from their humectant based product and then they're locking it in with their occlusive or their emollient products. This is the basis of Korean skincare. Korean skincare is all about hydration and locking in that hydration and being very gentle with your skin. And when you really take a look at Korean skincare, you don't see a lot of products with strong actives, with strong exfoliants or with strong retinoids. None of those types of ingredients. It is all about hydration and locking in that hydration. And when we think about Korean skincare, we think about Essence. I know that Essence isn't necessarily specific to Korean skincare. There are Japanese essences that are really popular and obviously essences have made it to US brands as well. But at the end of the day, the whole concept behind Korean skincare is to hydrate your skin, deeply hydrate and nourish your skin. And I always associate a really beautiful essence with that. Obviously, before I can get into the skin flooding, skin flooding, it's a, it's a catchy term. I gotta give it to them. Before I can get into all of that hydration, I do need to remove my makeup. So I just got this in PR recently. It's from Fenty Skin. It is the Melt Off Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. I have used it a couple of times and I think it's okay. I want to give it a, a real shot. So I'm using it again. What I really love about this is the packaging. Look at that, the way it just dispenses. I mean, you press this button and then it comes out like that. And that's honestly, to, in my opinion, the best thing about this whole product. I'm curious to know how it comes out when it reaches the bottom, if it's good, just going to like push it all the way through. It started off as you saw as a gel and then as you rub it in your hands, it has this oily texture right away. You can feel the gel-like texture, but it's really, really thin and it turns into an oil very quickly. And it does have a very light fragrance to it. At first I thought it was just like a masking fragrance, but it does have a real fragrance to it. It's just not that strong, which I don't mind in my skincare products, especially when it's a cleanser. I'm gonna just rub all of my makeup off. I'll show you how it looks right before I rinse it. I did not have a lot of makeup on. I just want to see if it emulsifies, which it does very gently. It's a very light emulsification, which I don't mind again. And it seems to have melted everything down. So now I'm going to rinse it off. This is rinsed off. I have water on my face. I'm going in quickly with the Natarium Niacinamide Cleansing Gel A from my brand because it's a trusty go-to. All right, my face is completely clean and I am going to go in with the first step of skin flooding. Again, what I've seen on TikTok is that everyone is just using a spray toner and just drenching their skin. I'm gonna go in with this one from Tower 28 for a couple of reasons. I have been dealing with this redness and irritation in this area for a while due to tretinoin that I will never do again. Um, but I also just really like this spray toner. This is a little travel size that I keep with me often, especially when I'm actually traveling. I fill it because it just absorbs into my skin really easily. But that hypochlorous acid that it has in here, I know that sounds scary because you hear the word acid. It's actually really healing and nourishing. I'm gonna go in with that first, as you just saw, and I'm gonna drench. That is the whole point. You're gonna drench so you can see it's like glistening off my skin. And instead of patting it in, I'm gonna let it just set for a second. And then I'm gonna go in with another spritz of it. It's like dripping off of my skin. This is not necessary. I'm just showing you, this is what skin flooding kind of is. 
All right, so I let it dry down for just about a minute. I would never tell you guys to wait a full minute between your skincare steps, but because we were flooding my skin with that toner, I wanted it to dry down a little bit because you don't want your skin to be so drenched that when you put on the next product, it just slips all over and doesn't absorb. But while your skin is still damp, you can even still see it glistening on my skin a little bit. You want to make sure that you are locking this in. So now I'm gonna go in with this Dr. Circle Vegan Active Berry First Essence. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with this Dr. Circle Essence. And I know you're like, why don't you use that one? The reason why I decided to go with this instead is because it's more of a traditional essence and it has humectants like glycerin and beta-glucan, which is also really nourishing for the skin. So it's really serving more of the skin flooding purpose. You want those really rich humectants and that's what this has. The other thing that makes it really cool is these little bubbles. You can see that they're floating around in the formula. These little bubbles are made of agar or agar, which is a seaweed extract that helps to protect the resveratrol complex that is inside each of these capsules. So it's a form of encapsulation. So these little bubbles are encapsulation, which I am obsessed with because it helps to stabilize the ingredients that are inside of them. And like I said, it's a resveratrol complex that you find in here. And I'm actually going to do the seven skin method that is a very Korean style method where you apply seven layers of your essence. The reason why I like this method, especially when my skin is dehydrated like lately because I've been traveling so much, it is such a light texture that it absorbs really easily. So you can see that's instant absorption. So I'm gonna go in with my next few layers. All right, layer number two, you can see that these little bubbles go into your hand, but they immediately spread out onto your skin. So you're getting the benefits of the resveratrol and it helps to condition your skin and nourish it. Obviously you're getting a ton of hydration as you're seeing, even just with the second layer, I'm gonna go in with a few more layers because we are skin flooding today, but you're also just getting this really nice looking complexion. I think over time, antioxidants are really great for protecting your skin and also to help even out your complexion. Let's go in with a few more layers. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, layer three. Layer four. Layer five. Layer six. Now I'm going in with my seventh layer and you notice that I'm patting it on and that's because I'm trying to get it to just absorb into my skin and not spread it around too much because I really do want it to sort of sit and slowly penetrate my skin. Then I'm bringing it down too. I let it dry down for about a minute and this is where I am at, nice and glisteny. And it actually feels like I have a beautiful hydrating layer on my skin. It doesn't feel like I have just water on my skin, just so you guys know what that feels like. But now I want to get the full benefits of what I just did to my skin. Otherwise it really is kind of pointless without locking it in. So I'm gonna go in with my first moisturizer because again, we're skin flooding. And this is great for me. Again, I was just traveling and also I'm dealing with this kind of dry skin and irritation. This is gonna be great for me. I'm not using any actives tonight. This is purely hydration and moisture. So this is from my brand. It's our Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. I love this one because it's nice and nourishing, but it also has plant ceramides in it and it melts down like butter. So I'm gonna use this as the first layer of my moisturizer. Last, I'm gonna go in with this Moisture Recovery Cream from Jordan Samuels Skincare. This is actually the jumbo size. I love this stuff. It has kind of like a rich, kind of creamy balm feel to it, which is why I'm gonna put it as my last layer. You can see it's so much more plush than the moisturizer I just put on. The reason why I'm gonna put it on top of my moisturizer is because I'm treating it sort of like an elegant step of slugging. It's going to completely lock everything in. It has ceramides also in it, but it also has squalane in it. It also does have glycerin in it too, but it has more of that balmy texture to it, which I feel like is just going to lock everything everything in and it feels so good. I definitely don't need an eye cream. And if you use enough hydration and you use enough moisturizer, you do not need a separate eye cream for just moisture. Obviously, if you're using it to treat something or for like retinoids or something, that's a whole different thing. Look at that.
so plump. That is the reason to do this. Now, I don't recommend skin flooding every night unless you have really dry, mature skin. But obviously, on occasion, when maybe you feel like your skin is really dehydrated or you just feel like you need to pamper your skin and really drench it in some hydration and moisture, this is a great technique. Look how plump my skin is. And when I wake up in the morning tomorrow, it is just going to be hydrated, beautiful, and just looks so much less dull than it usually would because I have all that hydration locked in. So I'm just gonna put some lip balm on from my brand Naturium. This is our Phyto Glow Lip Balm in clear. And then I am going to be ready for bed. So I hope this was helpful. Tell me in the comments if you think skin flooding is cool, if you think you don't need it, if you love to hydrate your skin. That essence, I put it on seven times and it absorbs so beautifully into my skin. It made it so much more plump too. It's wonderful. Anyway, you can find me on social media. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon.